Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Wow. Uh, listen, I just, I just went speechless. Completely speechless. Whew. Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're manifesting like the life that you've always wanted. Your path is being cleared for you. I'm hearing the word gratitude, okay? You need to really be giving a lot of glory, thanks, honor to God. Um, be proud of yourself for this type of self-awareness here. But you're being liberated, okay? You're being freed. So that you can actually create and be in this energy of manifesting a lot of abundance for yourself. It's like many of you have fought a very long and hard fight. Nine of wands, ten of wands here. And now it's like your passion is returning after a period of you feeling like perhaps you just wouldn't get to this point. Um, everyone is on different timelines, but I have to say you really have to you have to fight very hard to get to this point. But getting to this point is only the beginning. A lot of you need to make sure what, I, what I'm picking up here is be grateful for the hardship because it's what taught you to have this type of strength, this tenacity, and this wisdom. You have here the Son, the Empress, and the Two of Cups. So if you're wanting a, a, a family, if you're wanting to heal your current family, if you want to have a blended family, if you want to start a family, if you want to start a business... Um, if you want good partnerships in your life, good friendships, if you want to mend relationships within your um, family, or if you want a serious, committed relationship, this is what's being presented to you. So, there are things that are being exposed, but again, no matter how dark, evil, or ugly the things are that are being exposed for some people, you're going into the most beautiful part of your life, something that goes beyond what you've seen, heard, dreamed, or imagined. And this nine of swords usually speaks of stress, fear, and anxiety. I feel like for some of you, you're about to be in so much awe of how incredible life is about to be for you. It's going to be hard for you to even sleep because you're going to find yourself really, really reflecting on how far You've had to come, or I should say how far God has brought you in these seasons here of so much hardship and the spiritual warfare. But all along that time, you were still manifesting something for yourself. You were still building something for yourself that, um, again, it goes beyond any of your, your previous setbacks or blockages. Okay. Like there's there's nothing at all standing in your way. You have a look at this. I want you page of wands, the, the ten of cups, and the chariot. This is your year. Judgment. You're you're finally accepting the call or the calling on your life for you to be your true authentic self and to really have peace, balance, happiness, and harmony. And you're receiving this because there is some type of great judgment being called on a situation that has been hidden. And let me tell you, the biggest thing that has been hidden from you is you. You, something about you, your life has possibly been hidden by your family. There's been conditioning where you've been hidden, but you've also been hiding from yourself. Coming into this type of this this self-awareness about who you are and understanding that you had to go through this. You know, if you think about um, and the Bible has been coming up in the readings a lot. So for some of you, you could be new to spirituality or for some of you, you've been spiritual and perhaps you are choosing to, you know, really get back into church or the Bible or you may be looking more into, you know, um, ascended masters or something like some of you I, I feel like a lot of people now as you as you grow and evolve spiritually their relationship that you have with God and with your higher self you're you're researching the the mysteries of of God and and many ascended masters and you probably are realizing now that you yourself have really started to master yourself okay 
some of the greatest masters and, and prophets, you know, and anyone who has become a, a, a millionaire, billionaire, or whatever you consider as successful, they've had to go through a lot to get there. And some of you now, it's very important that, this is a very spiritual message today, that you let go of a lot of your pessimism. Always thinking the worst or expecting the worst. And I say that because it's time that you realize that you've paid your dues. Whatever you receive in your life now, it's yours to have, it's yours to hold, it's yours to keep. It's meant for you now to have things that you can cherish and for you yourself to be cherished. Because you are the divine feminine or masculine. You are supposed to go into partnerships and unions with like-minded people. This isn't just romantic, you guys. This is you going into connections with people who may be very different from you on the exterior, perhaps, or how they think. They're not your usual type or expectation. Yeah, but the two you and these people that you're connecting with, you have the same goals and dreams when it comes to creating this new earth, this new world, or building some type of kingdom for yourself. A lot of you, you honestly, you've been building an incredible life for yourself spiritually, and now you're about to see it manifest here in your 3D reality. So be thankful for the hardship. Some of you guys, it's like when you don't see things happen, you quickly... Because what I'm saying, the energy kind of jumps. It's like, okay, you have the baggage and you're like, okay, I'm strong. I'm going to tough it out. And then you, you get to a point in night of ones, you're passionate about having wish fulfillment. And then you fall into a slump of there being stress, fear, and anxiety. And then before you know it, you're, you're back on the train to manifesting happiness and abundance. But you keep running into like this, this stop, this standstill, because things don't always happen as quickly as you want them to or how you want them to. Some of you also too, this is a side note. Be careful of who you are getting information from, okay, or or get you may need to get out of the habit of always going to other people for information. When when you're given a a a vision or something for your life, it requires that you master yourself. No other person can tell you how to master yourself. Other people can present you tools and resources to do things, but when it comes to the dreams and the visions that you have for your life that God himself has given you, there's really no other person here in this this world, this reality that can ever give you every single step as to how to do this. Because a lot of your journey as a high priestess, it is hidden. Much of your journey is even hidden from you because the, your, your life journey is to discover yourself. That, that, I think that some people are finally, the whole point of you being here is for a relationship with God and for you to discover yourself. A lot of the things that people focus on, that's not the reason why you were created. That's not why you were here. You're supposed to awaken and realize who you who you actually are, and what you're supposed to contribute to the world. So here, this is this has a lot to do with conditioning and what's in your subconscious mind and how it's how it's creating your own reality. The wheel is here, and the page of swords. Whatever you researched learn and studied to develop it's now time for you to act on it you know it's if you've been dating for years it's, it's now it's time for you perhaps to consider being in a serious relationship and getting married if you know you've been unhappy on a job for a long it's time for you now to consider do you want to be in management do you want to change careers do you want to start a business it's now it's time this this year is, is the chariot it's about movement it's about accepting also that you are a dual type of individual. You have feminine and masculine energy. You have a dark side. You have a light side. And you have to be able to fully integrate everything that comes with you as a person. Some of you, you're spiritual and you're religious. You pray and you curse. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to embrace all facets of who you are to create the reality that you want. You're going, you're, you're discovering the mysteries of your own life. 
this full moon in cancer is is going to for sure it's going to reveal a lot but when i say reveal i don't want you guys to go out looking for the scandals to be revealed you're being there's things being revealed to you about you as the mother and this doesn't matter if you're male or female this is how you connect with mother earth like who you are here in this earthly realm you're coming into this and and the people around you are like your tools for ascension you may have things happening in your friendships and your relationships and before you're so quick to judge that person look at why they're in your life and why you've had to go through certain things with that person because everything in your life now it's like the dots are going to start connecting you're going to realize like this was all to set you free from some type of bondage here of some type of outdated thinking or false teachings or some of the the different doctrines that you've read and researched there's things here that just it's not going to make sense to you anymore it's because of the the self-awareness and this higher level of consciousness that you've tapped into some of you you have a very very important very very beautiful connection that's coming as well you have the three of wands here the knight of cups the three of swords okay the king of pentacles yeah you have a connection that's coming that's going to be rooted in equal give and take okay and you're going to have to let go of the heartache and the pain that you have about perhaps someone in your life or even a father figure an ex-spouse for some of you where you had hoped that it would be wish fulfillment and equal give and take but it wasn't you're now becoming enlightened and awakened about what was hidden in this situation and again what many of you are realizing is that you're coming out of the biggest karmic cycle of your life where you're you're t you're jumping out of the matrix realizing that you were sleeping you were dealing with other people who were asleep nobody knew why they were here what they were doing here what they were supposed to do you're becoming enlightened now this full moon that's coming up again everything that you've been in your mind about it's about to shift and change drastically over time of course but this is what you can expect here you're gonna have to start making choices when it comes to matters of the heart as well choosing to go into connections where there is equal give and take and that means that you're going to have to be able to go towards things that like i said it kind of you're going to have to break the mold it's not what you're used to a lot of people you've been taught you should be in this type of relationship you should work this type of job you should walk this way talk this way dress that way and what you're coming to realize now is that this was all an illusion because the people who have taught you they themselves have not reached a level of self-awareness or consciousness that you have reached so what they've taught you to believe was based on their false reality so you're you're gonna see that a lot of your perceptions have been distorted and it has led you to desiring things that weren't actually for the greater good of of you your life or humanity especially in relationships this is where we really get into like ancestry and and even things with parents you know looking here at this king of pentacles you know mom your, your parents grandparents great-grandparents everybody did something a certain way and so you really can't think outside of of what you've been taught and what you've seen for you to go into this new life you have to be willing to to liberate yourself completely from all of the teachings you have to really be willing to unlearn everything that you've learned and do like a, a whole system shut down and reboot and for for some people your purpose is going to require that you do that and for some people you're going to be forced to do it yeah in order for you to receive the downloads the symbols the synchronicities for you to be a divine channel you cannot have blockages in your mind for you to receive the information from your ancestors your angels your guides universal source whatever it is for you there's a certain level of consciousness there's a frequency and a vibration that you have to be on and that means that you have to be really open to whatever you can't keep talking yourself out of things because of the past your the, your past is over how you know life is completely over look it's a new beginning here 
this is something to celebrate and it's going to bring you a passionate new beginning some of you this is a very intense third eye awakening that you're going through like your third eye chakra is being activated a lot of you there's been things that have been done to you that have caused you a lot of illusions okay spell work conditioning you know your your family teaching you to do things a certain type of way your environment you know people say oh you're a product of your environment that's a choice yeah we all you know people say you're a product of your environment the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree that's all very true but at any point you can choose to unlearn that conditioning because once you see that what you've been taught and what you hold on to so closely, it keeps you in this this state of confusion and all of these illusions. You really have to make the choice to say, okay, <laughs> with all of these options here, obviously you keep choosing the wrong thing. And for a lot of you, this has a lot to do with relationships. Either you or someone that you should be connecting with because this emperor is here has been in some type of illusion, has been very much caught up in this matrix here. You're about to finally receive some type of download that's going to really give you the clarity that you need to end something or to transform. Yeah, here's the queen and the king of wands. This is for a lot of you. This is about a union. So either you or your counterpart are both awakening. But if you're truly in some type of divine counterpart connection, when one of you awakens, it's the other one is, is awakening as well. It doesn't matter. And both of you are waking up to, to different things, discovering the mysteries of who you are. So one of you could be learning something about your family and your finances, while the other one is learning something right now about their healing journey or, you know, their spiritual gifts, because you and this person, most likely you're opposites, but you complement one another perfectly. Yin and yang type of energy. And here we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So like I said, one of you may be very intuitive, empathic or, or whatever, while the other one is more logical. This is feminine and masculine energy. This is what you lack, they have and vice versa. Some of you are just going to, ha you're going through things now to learn about the differences in people. And instead of running away from it, you're now realizing that by going through things with different people who are different from you even when it causes chaos and confusion that type of diversity is what's going to allow you to always be ready instead of always being in a state of needing to get ready like trauma and tragedy and being with people who are different from you it'll teach you things really it's just you jumping outside of the box it's just like being around your family when you go outside of your family, you connect with other people, you see the world in a totally different different way. You finally come out of the mental entrapment and the illusion that you've been in, and it allows you to connect with your own soul family, your own soul tribe. You get to leave the nest and create your own family. Some of you, it's you and someone that you're connected with. You're going to stop trying to have the relationship that your parents had. Or you're going to stop fearing being single because maybe your parents were single or they were divorced and you're simply just going to go within and teach yourself some things so that you can move forward. Seven of Wands is standing up for what you truly love, but it's protecting yourself from a lot of your own outdated thinking here so that you can actually have a higher level of commitment, a spiritual commitment, going into union with yourself, but also someone else. The King of Swords is here. And the four of wands. And it, interestingly enough, it falls right under the queen of swords here. There's a lot of matches out here. So I feel like a lot of people, by letting go of your conditioning, getting out of your environment, getting out of your own way, you're finally going to have the unions that you're supposed to be in and this 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 has a lot to do with twins because even with that cancer energy it's you know the moon shows up in the dark but it illuminates things some of you you have some type of 
veil that has been covering your eyes for so long about who you are. And if you don't know who you are, then you really don't know what type of partner you're supposed to be to someone else. Or it's very difficult for you to figure out what type of partner you need to support who you are and who you are becoming. You're about to become very enlightened about who you are and the type of person or people that you need in your life to actually help you build whatever type of kingdom that you're you're being called to build here in this new world, this new earth. So a lot of you now you're being prepared to 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 actually live in the kingdom that you've built in the 5D here in the 3D. And that of course that includes for many of you like a, a kingdom spouse going into a connection with your divine counterpart. But this is understanding and it has everything to do with grace because even as you've met all these really bad karmic energies, many of you, you still chose the high road. Wow, my ears just started ringing really bad. You still chose the high road and you still can give those people grace and mercy because although they've been terrible, you never ever would have gotten to this point had you not first ran across them. In the reading that I did yesterday, I was speaking about the different um, spirits and, and, and different creatures that are even mentioned in the Bible. Some of them are, are seen as very, very evil. And, you know, um, they're associated mostly with Satan. But at the end of the day, God still creates all things. So if you want to be freed even from the darkest thing or the, the, the worst creature out there, it is still, you still have to go to God. You, it's still, it's the sword of Christ that, will cut through this. And I know everyone has, you know, their own different beliefs, but I'm just saying the sword sometimes is, is simply the truth of you understanding, like I said, who you are. Once you understand who you are and you have a certain level of self-awareness and consciousness, you can easily cut through all of the BS. Some of you, it's like, you're going to wake up and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> The family that you're in, the friends that you're in, you know, the city that you live in, everything. You're like, wait a minute, this isn't me. This isn't what I truly want. And you're needing to embrace that because perhaps you've been complacent for too long. Yeah. But behind you taking action, the two of wands is taking action is the ace of pentacles. It's the golden ticket to the life that you've always wanted that takes you out of any type of lack or hardship here. And I cannot look at this manifesting wealth and abundance in all sectors of your life. Financial abundance. This is family. It's legacy. It's good friendships. It's good health. It's everything. It's your destiny. It's you tapping into your birth right here. But again, you have to be willing to be a chosen being requires that you always lean on faith. Because most things that you experience, it goes beyond what the human mind can comprehend. You see, you hear, you know things that the average person doesn't. So when you get comfortable with trusting yourself, understanding that you are chosen, that you are an earth angel, you are supposed to connect with divine beings. That's when you have victory and success. But your victory and success comes from you jumping away from the 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 like the, the mental confinement that you're in here of of always thinking the worst. Or allowing man friends, family, lovers, or whomever to try and dictate and control your mind. It's certain things that you just know to be true. And in this time, be very careful of the people who try to tell you, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Oh no, you shouldn't go there. You shouldn't try that. As a lot of people who have a very long list of things that you shouldn't do, they tell you don't do this, but they're still in a, a life that they don't even want to be in themselves. They're still sitting still. They're not moving. This year is about movement. People who are not moving, don't tell, don't allow them to tell you how to move. They're not moving. They're not shaking. They're sitting still. Don't let them tell you how to do anything. This is you breaking the mold, getting out of that type of conditioning. And, and it's, it's, you're going to have periods of tension because this for a lot of people 
it's your friends, it's your family, it's the people who are closest to you. You're going to have to start telling your parents or your grandparents, oh, yeah, I hear you, but that's not for me. Yeah, I understand that, you know, you want me to be safe, but um, I'm still going. You know, <laughs> like, you're going to have to take, you're going to have to stop feeling guilty about being who you are called to be. Because that's what I'm seeing here. You're You're about to jump into, like, a period of your life that I'm telling you it's it's major but you cannot be afraid to say no you can't be afraid to go into hermit mode and and go on this journey I don't feel like you have to go on it alone I feel like you're connecting with the right people but you can't be afraid to live a set apart life you can't be afraid to leave certain people out in order for you to come out of these stalemate situations the two of swords is here this is requiring you to make some some difficult life choices. You know, this is where people have been married 20 years and all of a sudden a person's like, I want a divorce. And society will tell you, oh my gosh, why would you do that? That relationship doesn't serve you. So why would you not do it? That person never supports you in your business. That person never supports your health goals. That person, they don't support anything that you do, anything that you've ever wanted to do. And they certainly don't support what you're about to do. So why not let it go? Your family, they, they, they'll never support your business. So why do you have to keep spending all of your holidays with them? Because there's a whole world full of people that will support everything that you do. You have to be willing to give up one person or 10 people for the thousands, if not the millions that you're supposed to connect with. There's a sacrifice here that you have to make for yourself. For you to be who you're called to be, there's a great sacrifice that has to be made here. And I feel like whoever this message resonates with, you know exactly what it is because it keeps being presented to you. This person keeps coming to you. This energy, it keep, it, we're in Mercury Retrograde. This time, in this Mercury Retrograde, you're going to have to make the choice to say, I'm not doing that anymore. I'll never do it again. This full moon that we're about to have, this is about permanent endings. This is you seeing the other side of the coin and knowing for a sure fact, there is no way I will ever, ever win if I choose that path. There is no happy ending to that. So you have to be willing to let it go forever. And you, you can't be guilty. You can't feel guilty about it. You have to say to them, I'll never, I, I can't talk to that person again. I can't indulge in, in certain activities ever again. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Mastery, self-mastery here. Eight of Pentacles, hard work. This is you building something for yourself. Like, yeah, preparing for the Two of Cups. Some of you, this is about you preparing for a very, very significant relationship in your life. It's time for you to stop being left out in the cold and disappointed Five of Pentacles. It's time for you to stop feeling abandoned or being in this lack mindset. And a lot of times, to be honest, you're taught those things. You have people around you. Listening to certain people around you, you will always be single or you'll always be in an unhappy marriage. You'll always be in a job that you hate. Why? Because this is the mindset and the mentality that the people around you have. You don't have the same mindset. It's time for you to wake up and say, what, what you see for me is based on what you see for yourself. Let me say this because I myself can, can resonate with this as well. Stop going to people for advice who haven't done what you've done and they have no clear guide, like no clear like plan as to how to get you where you're going. And you will know if they had a plan to help you to go where you want to go if they had been there before. And that applies to a lot of things. A lot of people's mind is only going to go so far. A lot of you guys are, and, and my soul family here, you're supernatural divine beings. You're chosen to do great things. You're iconic. Nobody, you're going to go through a lot of challenges and adversity. Nobody's going to understand. 
why you're doing what you're doing. When you choose a partner, nobody may under, people may not understand why did you choose to be with that person. You're not looking at that person's body, or or what what the society seems as successful. You're you're challenging the status quo to build something that's far greater than you. Most people they don't understand that. You're going to have to separate yourself from those type of people. Nine of Wands. People who are wor worrisome, pessimistic. These people, honestly, they're very worried about you becoming the star. Because a lot of people know once you become the star, and I'm not talking about fame, just once you become more hopeful about life or as you heal, when you have that creativity, that confidence, and you master yourself, it automatically cuts them out. So you have a lot of people, they're still, they're, they're trying very hard to hold on to you for dear life because you're about to get ready and elevate to a place. These people, they're not going to be able to touch you. So they're trying to plant things in your mind to make you think that wherever you're supposed to be going to liberate yourself, because you, you carry an entire universe within you, that no, you shouldn't go there. No, this is the time for some of you. You need to get in hermit. You need to leave certain people around you. Leave them alone because the hold that they have on your mind is unhealthy and toxic. And this will require a great deal of strength here. And it may be three of swords heartbreaking to see that you have to leave people behind. But you have here the justice and the ten of cups. Like I said, there is a decision. The justice, this is cause and effect. Being accountable for yourself. There are consequences to you sticking around certain people and listening to certain things from certain people or accepting their ideas and, and you know, I don't know, like, like their distorted perceptions. There's a cost that you will pay if you don't remove yourself now. And to be honest for a lot of people, this is even your, this is your family. And this is why it's difficult. This is you leaving spouses, family members, because you have to realize that they just they they can't pour into who you are. You've had you've had your time with them. You've had your season or your seasons. And whatever it is now, it has to come to an end for you to actually go towards having an opportunity to the magician and six of pentacles manifest with people who are going to pour into you. You're supposed to be sharing your energy now with like-minded people. It's like God, the universe is sending in people now who are going to be very generous with what they know, what they can share. And like I said, that means sometimes that friend that you talk to every day, all day, or that family member, you have to let them go so that that actual, that ascended master can step in to help you. You have to be willing to leave that family behind and connect with those people that can teach you how to do certain things. To build a family or to build something better for your family, oftentimes if you want to take care of your family, you have to first leave them. A lot of people, like foreigners, you're, you're a foreigner in your family now, in your community. You think about people who travel as a foreigner. A lot of people, of course, they go to America. They don't know the language. They don't know anything about our, the government. The, they know nothing. They have to take that long journey to where, wherever they're going. And then eventually they go back and they get their, their loved ones. But somebody has to go first. You have to be the pioneer here to start something yourself. You're going to have to discover this land yourself. And this has a lot to do with breaking generational curses. You're going to have to be the first person to be their millionaire. You're going to have to be the first person to have a happy, successful home life, relationship, marriage. And this is you doing things that you haven't seen be done before. And you're going to have to do it alone because obviously if you haven't seen it be done before, there is no blueprint that's been given to you as to how to do it. So you have the four swords here, the devil, and then the chariot. I'll rest my case. It's exactly what I just said. 
you are overwhelmed by the devil in your life, the toxicity, the, the wrong, the, the mindset, the negativity, people being addicted to your energy, people being obsessed with you, the unhealthy attachments, it's restricting you. And spirit is saying now you need to take a break. You need to rest. You need to recover. You need to take a time out. You need to get into solitude and actually work on healing because now you have to move forward with chariot. 2023 is the year that all the ideas have to manifest and become reality. And you have to be determined. You have to say, listen, I got to shake that devil off. You can't go with me. I'm hearing something that um, we used to sing as, as kids, and it goes, one, two, three, the devil's after me, four, five, six, he's always throwing six, seven, eight, eight, he misses every time, hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, amen, one, two, three, the devil's after me, four, five, six, he's always throwing six, seven, eight, nine, he misses every time. Hallelujah, 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 amen. The devil's always after you. He's always throwing sticks. He misses every time. You can't you can't sit there though and turn around and look at you know you already know he's back there and he's gonna throw the stick. You know this is you confronting the devil that you know so well. You know what this devil is in your life. And don't always say, Oh, it's this person. It's first, it's always you first because it's your mindset of how you see that person and what they do and you accept it. You have to keep dodging this, but you're going to have to be even more protective of your energy moving forward. These are things that you've been dodging. The devil's always throwing sticks. He misses every time. Yeah, but now it's something here that's had you trapped in sadness. And like I said, everybody, you know what it is. It's something different for every person. It could be the job, a lover, a friend, family member. For some people, depending on your age, it could be your child. Something has constantly disappointed you. Let this be the last time. Let 2022 be the last year that you deal with it. Because this is a major blockage here that needs to be cleared out. What is this healing about, Spirit? What is this healing? One, two, three. The devil's after me. Courage. You're going to have to have the courage to go out and make some things happen for yourself. You have here pride and rejection. I was thinking, I spoke yesterday about the Leviathan Spirit. You guys can look that up. Um, has a lot to do with, with pride and ego and how that will be such a burden for you, you know? Um, but sometimes you, I feel like a lot of you, you've been blocked. This is like imposter syndrome. You don't take enough pride in who you are as a person. You need to have more pride about who you are and, and what you've overcome and have pride in yourself so that you will have the courage to actually move forward despite the fact that you've been rejected. And it's saying here, how teachable are you? Again, going back to the conditioning. And here we have it, cycles. There's a cycle here where you've been battling these, these demons that have been there probably since childhood and even before, even within your family here. There's a hole in the soul here. It's like a DNA activation has to take place for some of you. You're tempted to do certain things that are not for you, that keep you away from going towards your dreams because your inner child has been wounded by something or someone. You've been taught not to take pride in yourself because you've been rejected by something or someone that perhaps you cared for a lot. But that means that you're putting too much power. You're idolizing something or someone too much. You've given something or someone too much power And so you, you're not taking much pride in who you are as a divine being, someone who can create and manifest anything. You're, so what this is, you're sitting on top of your own power, which is 
your gold mine, this, the Midas touch that you have, you're not touching anything. So Spirit is saying now, so how teachable are you? When exactly will you be willing to learn to do something different? This is like finally getting to the point of saying, okay, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So you have to assess and evaluate what type of changes are you are you resistant to? Some people are quick to, well, I already know that I've been there before. And, and this happens a lot with people who are older, especially however old you are. You may have people who are older than you. They think they know everything. But spiritually, they're, they're babies. They, they know nothing spiritually. They know things here in this 3D reality, but we're no longer here. Just the 3D reality, we're shifting now to the 5D. So if you are spiritually weak and immature, you're going to lose. A lot of you have not been the strongest in the 3D, but you're very mighty in the 5D. That's the reason why now the last will be first and the first shall be last. Because we're shifting to a consciousness that you've been preparing for most of your life. And the people who think they know everything now, the leaders, it's like they're walking around in pampers now. They don't know anything about what the most, most of us are shifting into now. So when they come and try to tell you what to do, you need to close your ears. They don't know what to do because they don't even know what they're about to face. They have no idea. But this requires you to be very open-minded and open to change. And let me just say this, as you encounter people who aren't open-minded, you can try to help them, but don't waste your time if they're not open to the change. Because like I said, one, two, three, the devil's after me, four or five, these people, some of them, they're going to always be behind, several steps behind you because they are in their pride. They're, they're prideful. They're egotistical. And a lot of people who are prideful and egotistical, they, they lack courage. They don't have the courage to do anything different. Why? Because they're afraid that they're going to be rejected. And this is exactly what a lot of people, divine beings, this is what you've been taught. And now you're rising up to your own God consciousness level where you're like, no, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm better than that. I'm stronger than that. I can overcome that. I'm not scared of that. So don't be afraid to break yourself out of these karmic cycles here. This is ancestral family generational stuff where you've just been taught. Oh, you're supposed to be this kind of way. You're supposed to do. No, you're not. This, who, who said you had to do that? And, and maybe it did work at some point, but it's not working now. And it's not going to work. And you're going to see a lot of people who think that they have it all figured out. They're going to be struggling during this season. Feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Exactly. A lot of you like, what did I say? Many of you, you've already built something for yourself in the 5D. You need to assume your position on the throne that has been waiting for you all along. <laughs> it's like you're ready for this. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. Yeah. So whatever has happened in your life, it's up to you now to change the narrative. It doesn't matter who or what hurt you. Escape is come home to yourself. This is about you... Um, yeah, and then be your own first priority. The mural is here. So yeah, this is you. You're you're about to write your own story. You're like an icon and legend in the making. I have a reading about that that I did last year, maybe even the year before. It's like you're becoming iconic, a legend. You that's who you've always been. You're just waking up to it. You're coming home to yourself. So the villain here is the devil that has told you. You were certain, a certain person or you're supposed to be or told you that you would never become who you're actually destined to be. You have to slay that and come home to yourself. And the devil, of course, is, is something that most people, you're, you're tempted by it. 
So if you're doing something right now as a as a, a way to escape, you need to stop doing that. Going out drinking, overindulging in anything at all. Really, really make sure that you're not doing that. Because in those cases, it makes it easier for you to hear the voice of, of something or someone that's tempting you to not live the set apart life that you're destined to live right now. You know, whenever people are afraid to be alone, they, they tend to go and hang out with friends and family. And then when they hang out with those friends and family, you'll go over there with your spirit full of positivity and, and looking for. And all of a sudden you you leave and you start out being the, the empress when you go and then you leave and you want to hold back everything that you know. Because listening to what everybody else is talking about, you're like, oh, well, I'm too different. I probably shouldn't, you know pursue whatever that is because if I do everybody all my friends and family they're not going to like me your friends and family aren't that important right now in this season because whatever they're trying to make you feel bad for doing right now I promise you they're going to need you and a lot of you you're probably already experiencing this <laughs> you've earned all your stripes and something lovely will grow from this Every hurricane comes to an end. This hurricane, this storm in your life, it has to end. But you have to be willing to pull the plug and hit the kill switch on it yourself. A lot of people, even people listen to readers that, oh, this good energy is not happening to me. You're my, Maybe you're not doing your part then. Because the energy is here, but you have to take advantage of it. It's like if you have the Midas touch. If you're, you know, a magician, you got to wave your wand to make something happen. Nothing is going to fall into your lap. People are not going to stop taking advantage of you. <laughs> They're going to keep doing that. So you have to eliminate that. You're not, you're not going to just feel great about yourself without first recognizing when, where, why, and how you started to not feel great about yourself. So you're being called now to do that deep shadow work and inner healing but there's something or a few things in your life that keep resurfacing that you're really going to have to put an end to in order for you to have justice. And your justice is a Ten of Cups. It's being really satisfied with your life and the family and the friends or whatever it is that you, you're creating that brings about success and stability and security and, and fortune and happiness and joy. Just everything that you want and, and, and actual healing here. You got to make a sacrifice. It's you got the angel and the demon on both your shoulders. Which one are you going to listen to? And a lot of people, they choose to listen to the devil because whatever the devil is going to present to you is going to always seem easier. But the thing about it is the devil is never going to tell you to read the fine print in that contract. Don't take the high road, not the easy one. And the high road means you're going to have to climb and, and go deeper and harder. And you're going to get tired. <laughs> it's going to take hard work. But when you get to where you're going, you're not going to owe anybody. And this is what a lot of your enemies are experiencing now. They took... The easy road of working with the devil. Now they've reached their destination. They have all that baggage. They have all of their karmic debt to pay. And you don't. You're free and clear. Nobody is perfect though. The most divine beings. They, you know, every sinner has been a saint. Every saint can be a sinner. Everybody has karma. Everybody has a secret that they want to take to their grave. Everybody has done something, right? But choosing to work and do things the right way is going to pay off every time. Because all this season is about is justice. And the people who have done bad, they have to move forward. This chariot is moving and it doesn't matter how many horses you have for their carriage or how much junk you have on the back of it. Some people, their carriage is barely going to move. The chariot isn't going anywhere because they're stuck with all their karmic debt. 
depending on how you've chosen to live your life, you may have an extra, a extra horse and no baggage on your carriage. And that's, that's good. But everybody is getting out of life right now what they put into it. And that's how it's going to be from now on. There's no more shortcuts. There, there's no more cheat codes. And the people who have been trying to get through life because they've been latching themselves onto you, you need to cut those ties. Let them go. Because now you got to think about everything that's on your chariot. The more bodies, when people want to get on the chariot with you, they bring their bags, they bring their kids, they bring everything with them. That's going to slow down your horse. Don't make your horses tired on your carriage trying to bring everybody else with you. Because they already made their horses tired. Their carriage got pulled over and stopped a long time ago because of all their baggage. Let them walk. Let them walk. It's the survival of the fittest now. That's what it has come down to. And a lot of you... You saw this a long time ago. And perhaps you warned people and they didn't take heed to the, to the warnings. They didn't want to learn the lessons. So let them go. And when you are, when the horses are galloping and you pass them by, you don't need to feel guilty. You don't need to turn around and look. You don't need to tell your horse. You don't need to say, whoa, slow down. No, you keep moving. Because we all had a choice. And most of you, like I said, I can't stress it enough. You gave warning after warning after warning. Do not be afraid now to sit on your throne. Don't be afraid to be a star. Don't hold back anything. Don't feel guilty or ashamed for the people who are on top who are about to fall flat on their faces right now. Or on the butt that they sat on while they watched you struggle. You live your life happily and enjoy all of the peace and the harmony that's coming. That's what I have today because I'm, I'm seeing this very clearly. A lot of people ghosted you. They hurt you. Now you're being celebrated. Because you're leveling up. They were doing spell work. Sending the evil eye. Creating blockages. Hmm. You got to pay what you weigh now. You have to pay what you weigh. And a lot of people. <laughs> what, they, what they weigh. Their chariot is not going to move. I hope you get what I'm putting down. Some people. They, they hold so much karmic weight. No matter what chariot they get in now, it's not going to move. Don't let them come and sit on your chariot. Keep your horses healthy. If they're bound, let them stay bound. Because everyone's life is a projection of the energy that they put out. If you keep getting stuck, you may want to figure out what you did at some point. To get in is because everybody is getting out of life now what they put into it. So if you're constantly being stuck, you may want to go back and evaluate what you did or what you didn't do to get you to the where you are now. That's for all of us. That's self-awareness. So... I don't know, this is our spiritual message for today. <laughs> I hope that this helps. I mean, it's just full moon in Cancer. The chariot. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah. Your dreams are manifesting. Just make sure you're planning. A lot of Taurus energy here. Your commitment is being tested and prosperity lies ahead. Yeah. And then here we have, you're very close to achieving your goal. Some of you, you have some huge financial goals coming. If I'm not mistaken, 
like Taurus is like the ruler of money. It's either like Taurus or Scorpio. Taurus and Scorpio are opposite signs. One, one, either Taurus or Scorpio, one is the ruler of like money or financial institutions or something like that, while the other one really governs like their, their own money. Maybe it's like Scorpio that kind of oversees other people with money because I think Scorpio is like such a, a sign so mysterious.